The recent successful lift of the booster to the tower's apex signifies a substantial milestone in SpaceX's recovery operations. This pivotal moment not only underscores the reliability of the new mechanisms introduced but also sets the stage for future launch endeavors. In this context, significant alterations to the booster design have been implemented, including the introduction of new black painted stringers. These enhancements serve a dual purpose. They bolster safety measures while simultaneously mitigating risks associated with snagging during landing sequences. Transitioning to subsequent phases, following the successful stacking of Ship 30 atop Booster 12, preparations for essential propellant load tests have commenced. These tests play a crucial role in affirming the rocket's structural integrity, ensuring that it can withstand the rigors of flight. However, the environmental ramifications of SpaceX's operations have not gone unnoticed, bringing to light pressing concerns related to water discharge and the impacts of sonic booms on local wildlife. Such considerations are fundamental for comprehensive public safety assessments and cannot be overlooked. In light of these factors, the FAA has expressed apprehensions regarding the new thermal protection system on Starship, indicating that any modifications affecting public safety necessitate rigorous evaluation prior to launch. This adds a layer of complexity to the already intricate approval process. Amid these regulatory challenges, SpaceX contends that the resultant delays stem from what it perceives as unwarranted scrutiny rather than any authentic safety concerns, revealing a sense of frustration with the regulatory landscape. This sentiment has garnered bipartisan support among Congress members, reflecting a shared desire for more streamlined processes. The initial setback originated from SpaceX's failure to submit an updated sonic boom analysis, a critical element for ensuring the safety of launch operations. This oversight translated into a 30-day delay, emphasizing the importance of thorough compliance with regulatory requirements. In response to these ongoing challenges, there are increasing calls to reform the FAA to better facilitate innovation within the commercial space sector. This reflects an urgent need for modernized regulatory frameworks that uphold safety standards while also promoting technological advancement. Despite its established status, SpaceX is being urged to implement additional safety protocols, notably the adoption of a safety management system and a whistleblower program. Such initiatives are instrumental in fostering a culture of safety that can withstand the pressures of rapid development. Furthermore, SpaceX has formally articulated its concerns regarding delays attributed to the FAA's extensive environmental analysis, stressing the need for a more efficient review process. This urgency is essential for the ongoing progression of its ambitious Starship initiatives. In a notable step forward, the recent static fire test of Starship 31 confirmed that all systems are operating as intended, marking a significant leap toward forthcoming flight tests. This critical test lasted approximately seven seconds, a mere window yet pivotal in ensuring readiness for launch. In parallel, preparations for an additional launch pad are underway, highlighting the rapid advancements in SpaceX's infrastructure to accommodate impending flight tests. This development is crucial for sustaining the company's ambitious launch schedule. The assembly of the mobile launch mount for Pad B is currently in progress, which will significantly enhance the capabilities of SpaceX's launch operations. This infrastructure development is essential for facilitating future vehicle launches efficiently. In another significant achievement, SpaceX has successfully recovered debris from Super Heavy Booster 11, allowing for in-depth analysis of failure modes. This recovery effort not only helps avert potential environmental contamination, but also provides invaluable insights for future design improvements. Elon Musk has also outlined a timeline for Mars missions, projecting five uncrewed Starship launches within a two-year frame. These missions are designed to rigorously test landing reliability as a precursor to upcoming crewed missions. Moreover, the Nebula 1 rocket has successfully ascended to an altitude of 5 kilometers, demonstrating its launch capabilities through a meticulously crafted landing strategy. This involved a sophisticated multi-engine ascent followed by a controlled descent, exemplifying the strategic engineering at play. Looking ahead, Deep Blue Aerospace has ambitious plans for further testing, including a high-altitude test slated for November and an orbital launch targeted for 2025. These developments underscore their aspirations within the space sector as they aim to create rockets capable of transporting substantial payloads. Notably, the Nebula 1 shares design parallels with SpaceX's Falcon 9, employing advanced 3D-printed engines that have successfully passed static fire tests. This technological synergy positions Deep Blue Aerospace advantageously as it vies for a stake in the burgeoning commercial space market.